is a 10 by 12 oil sketch based on a drawing that I did in, when I was in Gonquin Park in September of this year. And um, I want to do a large one, a canvas of this. Um, and it's down by the near Whiskey Rapids on the Oxtong River in the park. And I saw a sketch that Tom Thompson had done and it was a similar type of setting and he had uh, stressed the uh, maple trees um, and that's why I'm doing a little bit of uh, these maple leaves and of course they always fall down on the ground so you put maybe a few down here and there as the leaves have fallen down as you do and um, I'm preparing this the background is more pine trees and are subdued, but it's really a background related to uh, the relation to the foreground trees, which are uh, more of a grayish color, grayish blue sort of uh, color. And uh, I wanted to get some contrast for the red of the maple tree. And uh, so that's why I've done that sort of darkish blue. And what I'll do is I'll tone that down a little bit by putting a little bit of green in with the blue and put in some uh, actual pine trees and in, in maybe here and there so you get the idea that it's uh, pine. And I can show you what that, I guess got to get another brush here, more precise uh, to fit that. Here we go. Um, if I take this, a little bit of blue, and then I'm mixing up, but I want to get a, a dark green. So I'm mixing the colors in here and uh, getting a little bit of, just throwing the paint in here. And as I put more of this blue in here, the darker it gets. And so I can do a thing like this, and you just get the hint of the, the pine trees in the background, get the spruce or something like that. And it doesn't stand out, um, but at least it gives you, you get this sort of outline. It breaks the monotony of the, of the background. And you can see how, and you can just put in down in between the trees, um, this sort of green. And, and it's just remixing really blues in it. And it's really a subdued sort of green, nothing really strong. And then um, I, I started off by putting the grays of the tree trunks. And I'll I can go over, get some lighter gray to go with that, make some stand out. The tree trunks as I go across here. And I get a bit of a shape like that. And then, what's always sort of good is to come up with some, I gotta get some dark color here. Just come up with some trees you know, on the foreground. Um, and you make it sort of, and then one of the other thing is, it's always good. Because it's always birch tree, doesn't matter where you go. You get the, the idea of a, maybe a birch tree growing in the background a little bit. Actually, I'll get a little more white. I'm going to find my white here. Let's show it. Oh, here it is. Um, 
And I'm doing this really as a basis for a large canvas. <clears throat> get some white and I can bring it right up in the foreground here and that gives some depth to the to the whole painting There's always birch trees tend to be dead. And another thing that's always fun to do is to put some color in. And this gets a, all this is giving depth to the painting there and then I'll stop right there except for I should really tidy up the, the back end through here my tree and here I'm going to get this tree standing out like here, there. And this, um, what it is, I got some purple here. And this is, it, in the fall, in the park, there's this, it's called the hog bush. And it turns purple. And it's got great big leaves. And this is why I put that in there. And I will actually call the title of this painting will be Hogbush. And it's a type of plant that uh, grows there. And as I was walking along in the bush, there was a lot of these purple leaves. And uh, we came across, there were some uh, uh, Gonga Park uh, staff were building a bit of a walkway down by the Oxfam River. They had rotted away. And I asked him what this was, and he was the one that told me it was uh, called the hog bush. And I thought that would make a nice title for a sketch. So there's my sketch. And then I'll take that and put it on that, I think that's 22 by 28 inches. Um, and I'll make a um, canvas out of it. And that is a process, in essence, it's like en plein air. Now, although I didn't do this on location, I was too busy doing the rapids and everything, but I did the drawing and I worked from the drawing, um, the sketch, and then from this, I can now go to my canvas. And that would be, uh, a lot of these canvases, if you glance around the room here, are based on small sketches. And uh, you can, Take any one of these small sketches and make it into a canvas. And that's it.